Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. There you go. There you go. That's why you, my nails. Don't, don't break your nails. That's why you want to flex them a little bit also. We want to still be right. <laughs> <laughs> one scenario at a time because let me tell you why because the, the, there's more times where a single attacker attacks someone than multiple attackers okay and what we want to do is if you see a situation that you're walking into and it looks like two guys may attack you that's where the instinctiveness and intuition comes in you might not want to go that way even if it's a long way home go the long way or wait until they leave okay but also we'll get into walking with assertiveness you know it's a way that you can walk and look look like you could be a victim more so than not. If you have a very confident walk, and if you're very aware of your surroundings, you're, you're less likely to be a victim. Why? Because if you're paying attention to everything, well, then there's a great chance they think that you're paying attention to them. Right. You know, if you're walking where, like, okay, well, just in case, I'm just walking where I'm going, but I see you there, you know, speak sometime. Hello, how are you doing? You know, because then, then what they do is, like, okay, well, I've been recognized now. It does that. You'd be amazed at the small things you could do to not be a victim. You know, because I think think about it. When you think about somebody attacking, you think of a guy, a hoodie, sitting in a corner like this, waiting. Well, the reason being is they don't want to be noticed. Well, if you acknowledge, hello, how are you today? Well, now it's like, okay, well, fighting you, I guess, now. <laughs> you know? So you do make them a little bit more aware to not attack you. All right? But we're going to do it again, but this time I actually want you to put a knee right here. Okay? Put your hands, put your hands on my shoulder. There you go. Both of them. Knee hard. There you go. Step into it. There you go, very good, very good. Very good, very good, very good. I'm serious, if they're gonna hit me. <laughs> right, very good, very good, okay? One of those right there works very, very well, okay? What it does, because there are different parts that are vital key points, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna send you home with a little homework to show you vital areas, but to cover some vital strike points. <laughs> well, it just goes more in detail. <laughs> um, eyes is a good place to attack. Throat is a good place to attack. Groin is always a wonderful place to attack on a male or a female. Okay. Outside of that, you also have the ears. Something simple as digging your hands in the ear and pulling somebody's ears down. You can try that yourself. Try to grab your own ear. You just pull a little. Don't hurt yourself now. Imagine if you just really grabbed them trying to rip them off. Uh, uh. Okay? Because they might rip. Honestly. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. But if you grab and pull, twisting is probably it's gonna be require a little bit more time. Where if you just, I mean, because all this is like, if I'm coming right here this fast, you don't, <laughs> if, you, if I come at you real fast, you just want to be able to do something real quick to get to change my direction. Okay? You trying it also? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, another good place, another uh, part is like knees. Those are just simple, like, kick to the knee. Simple, turn your body, just kick. If I'm running like this and I step and you kick me when I plant, uh, this is definitely going to happen every time. Like, step, just step forward. See that? <laughs> Step forward. <laughs> See, 
Guaranteed. It's just certain parts of your body that no matter how big or, or strong you are, it has to go. If it goes opposite direction, you have to go with it. Guaranteed. Um, outside that, get back on track to what we're doing. The next thing I want you to work on is it's called a fighting stance. Okay? It's simple as stepping back and putting up your arm. Alright? Now this is the fun part. Why? Because women with nails, we always have to cover the fist. <laughs> Alright? So what I want you to do, first of all, is you want to take your hand and you want to roll it down. And then when you roll it, that's a fist. So let's do the same thing to this hand. Roll it down and then tuck the thumb like that. Okay? Why? Because these are the knuckles you want to hit with. So those should be the most predominant knuckles on your hand. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely. The ones that stick out the most. I know it hurts sometimes when you have nails, so I'm not going to have you do it too long. But you want these knuckles to stick because these are knuckles you want to strike with. Not the flat face. No, you do not. Because if you hit somebody like that, it's not going to hurt the same. Like this, I always tell people hit yourself a little bit. Hit yourself in the arm. Now hit yourself with the knuckle. Oh, yeah. Feel the difference? <laughs> oh, <I shouldn't laughs> so now imagine that full force. I always thought you hit people with this. I'd always hit them. Incorrect. You hit them with those knuckles? It's, 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 it's a party slower now. It's a slow down party. Absolutely. Well, well, one thing we'll get into that. Well, we get into that now with a boxer. What they do is they turn and never fully extend. Okay. So let me show you. First of all, we're gonna turn. Let's get let's get back to our fighting stance first. Cause that's the key component. Okay. What you wanna do is you break. I always wanna protect. Don't be your face and everything. Don't worry about doing it like that. Okay. You wanna have your shoulders square. But you want to do have a little leverage on your, what's considered your strong arm. So if you're left-handed, you should be on the other foot. But if you're not, if you're right-handed, you should be perfect. You're not to overdo your nails right now to hurt your hands, okay? I'm getting that. <laughs> you can go like this to cheat for right now, but as long as you understand what to do. So the reason why is because there's different types of punches. If you just notice how, how the dynamics of my body change. You see, you see, you see how I'm watching my foot swimming. Why? Because if you come, if you get on that foot and lean forward, it's so much more force. So you want to actually correct. So you want to, on you, you want to get on that toe almost already. So when you do punch, you like step up and step into it. Okay? Because hitting like this, this is what this is going to do. Okay? But now if you use your whole body, you, you can feel the difference in the force in the same swing. Feel it? Okay? Now, one thing I do want to tell you right now. Never fully extend your arms. Never, never. Why? Because when you hit something like this, it, as a doctor, <laughs> it causes so much other pressure to other points of your body that you don't, especially your shoulder. Whereas if you, if you, when you do it, you want to twist right here. That's about as far as you want to go. That's a great hit. Okay. And also, let me show you. You always want to remember these. This is your focal point to hit. Okay. So when you're here, you want to hit like.